Welcome back guys, Mark here. Today I'm going to show you how easily you can create blurry background in Lightroom. We will use the newest features from Lightroom, including AI, I mean artificial intelligence. We will even create presets for that. Right now, this is very simple in Lightroom, but still some tricks are needed. Especially if you like your photos looks really good and professional. Let's go to the Lightroom. Ok, so let's start with the very first and the easiest example. This is simple because we have subject in front of us, we don't have, almost we cannot see the brand and everything what is behind her is relatively far away. In such cases we would like to have our subject in focus of course and everything else can be equally blurred. In this case the background is already a bit blurry as I used F4, but you will see how easily in Lightroom you can enhance that effect and it will work even if background is totally not blurry, fully sharp. So I will show you what I'm doing. I'm going to the masking. Okay, I'm clicking plus and looking for my subject. So I'm letting Lightroom find the subject. It should be relatively easy for that case. Okay, as you can see, subject has been found, but I'm not interested to touch her, I'm interested to impact on everything else but not her. So what I'm doing, I'm going to the mask, clicking right and inverting. And right now Lightroom found everything around her. Okay, so if I will go to the sliders, I can impact on everything what is around. Okay, but of course, I don't want to change exposure. So I can be focused mostly on few sliders. Contrast, uh, texture, clarity, dehaze, and sharpness. Okay, so let's focus on texture. I'm going totally down and you can see the effects. Maybe I'm going also a bit down with clarity. Okay, not too much. And with dehaze. A part of that, I can go down with sharpness. Okay, so here maybe this is not visible too much. Okay, and what is great is new slider amount here. So what I can do, I have some kind of global control over the mask. So you can see if I'm going with amount till zero, everything what I created is not visible right now. But if I'm increasing amount, mask is impacting more and more. So zero and even 200. Okay, so for 200, I think this is a bit too bright. So maybe I will change exposure a bit and maybe I will even increase contrast, not decrease, but increase. Okay, and if I'm moving slider left and right, you can see the background is getting less and more blurry. Okay. And I would like to show you how universal it is and how we can use it on other examples. Also, I would like to show you what we can do for the more difficult cases. Okay, so let's use that what you created for the other pictures. Clicking right and renaming it as blur one. Blur one, okay, cool. And I'm going down, clicking right, develop settings, copy settings and I'm choosing just that one mask. Okay, so I'm going to the second picture, right click, development settings and paste settings. So what Lightroom is doing, Lightroom is applying the same mask. But what is great right now, it is applying also artificial intelligence. You remember what we did previously, we found the subject and we inverted it. It was totally different subject than right now, but you could see Lightroom very well found the new subject and inverted it. So uh, let's see how it works for that example. So this is original picture. And if we're adding blur to the background, more blur, less blur. Okay, so you can see it's work very well. Let's go to the another more difficult example. I'm going here, 
and again clicking right development settings and paste settings merge okay and lightroom again is trying to find the subject invert it and make blur everything else and there will be two tricks here and i will show you step by step okay and again lightroom did nice job this time also not perfect because bug is not in the focus but we can fix it later but what is my point my point is that again i'm going with slider to zero and to max okay you can see the background is changing this example has been taken with f11 so what means so almost everything was sharp as you can see here it looks not nice so it's good to blur it a bit okay but if i'm using with the same settings i got set earlier i think it is not very beneficial for that picture so a part of contrast texture clarity decays what we can also think about is sharpness and if we'll go with sharpness totally left you will see the difference okay you can see let's focus right now on the background you can see this is really really nice blurry background in that moment at least per my view maybe too strong so we can adjust of course you can see zero something in the middle and full okay yeah so this looks much much better but two tricks are here first of all if we are using sharpness we need to be very careful you can see she is not absolutely sharp right now the borders of subject got also impacted you can see if i remove sharpness okay so it looks much much better but if i'm decreasing sharpness to full it is get, getting a bit broken maybe this is not very visible but we would like to make our picture looks as good as it's possible so maybe we should set up something around here okay and maybe and maybe we should not go to 200 but something something smaller okay and we can see right now it looks much better and background is nicely blurred okay but the second trick what is here as i said this is more difficult example why because we have background so if we'll go maximum you can see she is sharp okay and this is fine background is blurry but the ground the ground on her level should be sharp as well but here it's not if you are interested you can watch my other video I explained that their theory how exactly blur is created in reality so you can see more but here just absolute minimum but what I can do I can again click minus and choose linear gradient you will see okay you can see I'm subtracting it okay so everything what is on that line is absolutely sharp okay so let's try to find something comfortable okay maybe something something like that but you can see that uh, that effect here is sharp and it's getting less and less okay let's adjust it a bit i think 200 is too much so i'm changing okay something around here so let's take a look closer you can see she is sharp grant is sharp and here it's starting to be to be blurry okay of course it's up to you how much you would like to impact i think this maybe is too much but it's up to you again one more thing what we can correct here is the bug so lightroom did mistake it assumed that she is the subject only but bug is not uh, so we are correcting it minus brush okay you can see and right now her back is also also sharp okay so it was super simple i think but i would like that 
new modified mask on other pictures so I'm removing it right now okay delete brush this mask I'm changing to blurry too okay let's copy that mask because I would like to show you how easily you can use it on different picture and how easily you can adjust it so again development settings copy settings again I'm choosing only blurry this time blurry too okay copy and let's go to the another and development settings again and paste settings okay let's see what Lightroom found okay maximum zero maximum zero okay you can see subject found and the background is getting blurred but I think we can modify it here moving a bit down okay and right now you can see our blur is starting earlier than originally so done and again I would like to show you the difference okay zero full zero full for that picture I think we can live with amount even 200 and maybe even sharpness more okay cool right now in Lightroom we can even save those settings as a preset so that artificial intelligent mask can be saved and used many times so if you are interested I will show you that bit later let's go to the next the most tricky example and I will show you how easily you can fix another issue I will show you another trick to make really realistic professional blurry background okay so here Again, development settings and paste settings. Merge. Okay, probably this is too blurry in that moment and too much sharpness. As you can see, she's impacted. Uh, what we don't want to do, but I will tell you, I will keep it here to show you what is the trick here. Okay, so first of all, I think it should go a bit slower. I mean, we should not get blur as quickly, but to let it look more realistic, we can make also the front of her blurry. So to achieve that, I'm clicking this time add to mask. So to that, what I created already, I'm adding linear gradient. Okay, you can see, cool everything what will be in front of her will be blurry and everything what will be around her will be in sharp so exactly that what you can get from camera but as mentioned earlier sharpness is too much but let's show you where is the impact so right now it's zero and right now this is fully okay you can see we are making the background and the front of, of her blurry okay cool let's stay with 200 but we will remove sharpness a bit. Okay, I think maybe here and maybe not 200. Maybe let's go somewhere around 118. Okay, right now I, I think it looks really, really nice. And you can see zero, okay, 130, zero, something. So definitely you could see how easily we could get that effect in Lightroom. Okay, but as mentioned earlier, let's save it as a preset. So I'm going to that mask and I'm changing the name to Blur Tree. Okay, as I modified it a bit, I'm going on the left side to the presets, clicking plus, add new preset, create preset, and I will call it Blur Tree. Okay, I'm choosing only that newly created, newly modified mask. Okay create and you can see the preset got created okay super okay you saw how easily you can create the preset but if because of any reasons you don't want to create it by yourself and you prefer just to download all three versions of that mask please let me know in comment i will put it to my web page and you will be able to download all three presets okay so let's check if that preset works 
let's go to that one. Okay, you can see everything is relatively sharp. I'm going left and clicking Plurity. Okay, you can see the difference. So definitely Lightroom fun subject and impacted on the background. But let's try adjust it a bit. Okay, I think everything around his legs should be sharp. Okay, and the front. Okay, maybe this looks good. Okay, so let's show you the difference. Zero and max, zero and max. For that picture, I think even we can go with sharpness down. It will be not very visible. Okay, call zero, one, zero, one. Okay, you could see how easily we could get that blurry background effect in Lightroom. And also you could see how easily we could create the presets. If you prefer to download those presets, then totally not a problem. Please just let me know in comments and I will share a link with you. I'm hoping that video was useful for you. If you have any remarks, please leave them in comments as well. I really appreciate if you click like button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like that in the future. Thank you very much guys.